That's brilliant. Okay, cool. Uh, we're live now. Rush, uh, British going to move out. Russians are moving in to defend right, some locations. An overview of Two Step Snake is two, like three. this. Uh, there's a very there, there's a lot of positions out here in the uh, the southeast sector of Gor of Gorodok. And the British have employed this cloud, like, you know, this cloud computing service to figure out which positions they want to go to, which positions have priority. So the positions on the map that they have, you know, there's different levels, there's different color codes on these positions. And the cloud service, the cloud AI wants them to clear, like, all of one color. So clear all the yellow uh, points, clear all the red points clear all the white points so what the white point they could be at any but anyway you get the picture well so the british Just platoon mobile. is mobilizing to do exactly that Phoenix, my spot's cross here, sure. two major pushes are happening for the british platoon we've got a push uh west uh, east to west from that's three squads strong including the command i brought uh, charlie keep space and we have or not including the command rather and we have one squad going north, along with the commander. The Russian forces in the area are reacting a little bit slow. The Russians are going to have, uh, are ha they have forces on the west side of the river in Gordok, and they are, they've gotten wind of this patrol. The Russians are going to send a rapid reaction force in cool. yeah, if we can hit both of those fast, you guys can start uh, your tactical withdrawals that will be to try to intercept the British patrols. Heavy fire the British are going to leave uh, some surveillance equipment behind to mark that they have uh, completed that objective on the patrol. Yikes. Uh, yeah, so this is a uh, are you going to die here? Years of from there? That's freaking broke. And based on what we know of the British plan, the British plan, uh, they're attempting to, they're going to set, uh, take a point in the north at Kilo 9. -1. And then they're going to, uh, at the same time, two points in uh, the south. One of those two points, I think, is going to be into 12 4. And the idea is they're going to Alamo on the last point. Uh, once they finish their patrol, uh, British um, division is going to supplies and this platoon will be able to set up uh, some defenses and some fortifications. Damn, my fucking thing is hurt. And we're already really close to combat now, actually. Uh, two Russian patrol, uh, counter patrol, that's the wrong word, I don't want to use that. Two Russian squads are moving north they're going to uh, basically cover Kalo 9. And this British squad, there's only one British squad coming this direction. Stay in your command, Nacho. I should also go over uh, who's running this show. It would have been amazing if you were command. We've got Pony running the British platoon this round. He's commanding. Uh, was it Bravo is pushing? All right, dudes. Delta. Bravo is uh, holding you. Pony's got uh, Dorf, Airborne, yeah, he was uh, yeah. Alpha Guido, and for his SLs. And this round, Londarts is commanding Russia, and he's got Revy along with uh, Total War, Blackbeard, and Ronan for his squad leads. Oh, here we go. We're going straight into contact. Negative. Uh, I got partialized on the farm. Uh, we're going to start making our approach soon. All right, guys. I guess we'll wait here for a second until the others come. Within Why within a hundred meters. Weird. Because I don't like using like Charlie. Uh, Revy is uh, leading his uh, the Russian formation. They've 
got themselves held up in this forest, but they're still moving. Command, you want me eyes on the, the uh, compound, or do you want me to push into there? While the British forces are... Alright, we've got, we got eyes on movement. They're in, uh, they're in the uh, fucking farm. Contact West, contact West. Oh, fuck. Where? Good. British have, uh... Copy that. Alright, oh. they're in the farm, and they're north. <laughs> British command has now realized that they... Both of their objectives they're wanting to take soon are being... I don't see him. Maybe One because I'm freaking. Maybe because I'm freaking grass. Copy that. Dwarf, what side? How are they in the open? Seeing uh, Blackbeard and Russians in the north, just trying to set up a base. They're all lined. Uh, they're all lined up in the forest here. They want to make sure no one's getting through. Meanwhile, British forces have now hit command, uh, or British forces have hit Russian forces in the south, fighting over the Russian forces were able to get there first, and the British forces just ran right into them, I think. Yeah, but we found them, which is good. I guess. I was about to say, I saw something. Uh, we have gunshots heard west of our position. Lion being here in town, holding the farm area proper. Looks like they're gonna try. He's trying to run south. To All right, I'm gonna get to Atlas spot right now. Try to get some support here. You can see an overhead view of where Lima Bean is. And. Some. Uh, he's maneuvering to try to get a little bit of a side stab in here. Looks like uh, D Leak is engaging forces to the south. That's Liberal Pundit B. Second. Uh, did you get the door? Uh, negative. I did lose one somehow. Copy. They're smoking. I think they're uh, falling back. Copy that. Get a little overhead view of what's going on here. Three squads in the. S uh, one squad is taking significant ca casualties. Squad 3 for UK is uh, down to, looks like 6, maybe 7. Uh, squads 1 and 2 for UK still seem intact. The Russians that are down south here, squads 1 and 2, seem to be still in their general areas. Squad 3 is maneuvering north. Along with four, three is maneuvering to try to get a run. I think. And the Brits are trying to figure out what they're going to do next here in the north. They need to disengage from this northern forest. They have command up here with them to help them out. And uh, Russians open up. Peach goes down. In the north, looks like maybe traded with Neil. Command, I cannot stay here. I'm losing guys. Or man, fall back south. Copy that. Fall back south. Aethel now opening fire indiscriminately right, on the British platoon. There's no way we can be outnumbered at all of these positions. So find find the gap, guys. One, where are you taking command from right now? I'm out of Yeah, yeah, okay, be advised, we have contacts to our northwest. They're maneuvering onto the rocks now. They don't know you're hold. Blackbeard yeah, so looking in. out we'll over here. Still the, trying to get his guys to join in the action. He's making sure nothing right, comes we're through. One, where are you taking contact from at this time? As of right now, I'm taking contact to my northwest, but I still have an element to my south. Yep, copy that one. Oh, maybe Pony died. Because uh, I don't hear him on command anymore. 
and yeah, they're calling Phoenix coming. No, 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 there's Banner. One, three, that's completely fine. Hold your current positions, engage the enemies. We're going to uh, basically yeah, jump the gun. extremely overextended themselves. We're going to hit the other two green points uh, flank along the river because they fucked up big time and they fucking stuck half their... Ah, uh, quoting Pony, they uh, effed up big time. time. So we're gonna hit your points last. Wait, no, we got the butcher. We got the butcher filter on ours. I could, I could quote that, but I'm not going to. Change a plan for British. They're gonna switch objectives. Hotel twelve eight eight. You know what they gonna go for? We can't really capture. It's not possible. So for now, just hold your ground, guys. We're gonna wait for the other elements to to do something. I have eyes on uh, contacts to my northwest, uh, approximately 300 meters out. I'm gonna check and see what's going on here. Get more of an overview. The British are the British in the north are completely pulling off. Still some light contact going on here in the south. They potentially are going to try and hook off before taking three. But the Brits are on the objectives they wanted to take, uh, which is the uh, farm. Um, so chest, swing your fire team the around farm uh, here, and also there's another point to the uh, southwest uh, of the farm. Uh, I'm gonna be come cutting north now. We're gonna uh, we're just trying to get around this field. I'm gonna be hitting uh, Julia ten with. Looks support. like they're reprioritizing some of their objectives uh, that they want to take. Maybe the southern uh, British uh, force here not uh, advancing as far as they wanted. Sounds good. And no, for yeah, good reason. They're covered on at least three sides in three major directions by Russians. Lima Bean is actually engaging at distance here. I think. Lima Bean and D-League, along with Appa, I think they're just taking some pot shots at range. And they're off to the... Uh, Last. Uh, if we can't, They're off to the uh, west here of the farms. We're going to take the one in G12383 last. Okay. Actually, they're up here in the north of the You see Lima looking out here. He's looking for British forces to come in. So, Rodan, I'm pretty sure there were guys when we were in the buildings. There were guys to our, uh, they probably went north. North. Command 2 is holding in this position. Last known contacts southwest, basically south of 1, northwest of us in the hills, Hotel 8. Uh, and potentially contact north Copy of the that. farmstead. What do you want us doing? Forces in the north for Russia. Not really. So I guess they are, they're still holding position. They're holding position on the point. I guess they're expecting the British to try to go around. Meanwhile, the Brits are just running in open fields here. They're getting out of there. Maybe taking some fire now. Windows look clear in the two story blue building. I think I'm just hearing shots from the south. I'm just going to go out of low power run. Fuck it. Dorf says to buy us some time to get here and get out. Four, just, just, uh, yeah, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Running along here with the uh, British command. You can see some of the new emotes that are in V13. Very cool things, like the uh, the hand going up to the ear. And before you say, oh, that was in V12, you just don't know, I completely miss right. I, I miss V12. If you if you remember the last broadcast I was on, it was not so good. This micro... This time, it's. I'm sure you could agree it's much better. So British are now officially changing their uh, objectives. They're changing which points they're going to take. Okay, 
Tony, you, you, you want my guys six? holding here to try to uh, delay them? Negative, negative. We're gonna get to Pablo and we keep going. Hit and run. That's the only way we're gonna win this. Copy. What is the Pablo? Okay, Bob, there's Pops up. Alright, moving out. I think it's Command, where do you want me going? Whatever. Close. Uh, four. Rejoin with three. We're gonna keep moving. We gotta take advantage oh, of how fucking spread out they are. We're just gonna roll around marauding. Uh, now that we've we've breached their, we're we're in we're in their backfield now, so yeah, we can really have some fun. Lead them on a Pony's not entirely wrong there, saying that they've breached the back. Command, they've got they're not gonna have two squads. Looks like uh, All right, two squads go, now are moving river, north. And, uh, I wonder if I wonder if the uh, Russians know. Is... Russians have surged a squad around. Yeah, they they see. Uh, Taking fire north. Looks like they're bridges shooting the open. We are not going to be able to keep keep running with these guys uh, engaging us. My squad, since I just got as fewer guys, will provide a, a rear guard action for four. We're going to set up on these rocks here. J two guns returning fire here. Four, you can guys. see. Russians way up there on the uh, on the ridge line. Three, if you can, uh, once you've soft them up, if they pull back from attacking you, uh, what we're gonna need you to do is loop back I'll around in, sorry, and push. plant the fob at the uh, location originally intended for. Four. We're just gonna keep moving. Some good suppression, able to get those Russians to move along. Subject four definitely straight close to me because I can hear gunfire engaging either left two degrees. Three left two degrees. Go left so the well, Lime is engaging yeah. some contact He's here, done. trying to put some He's shots on He's, the, He's gone. the, the other pundit other and right. team. Let's go fist fight. Both fight. Good spawning, Billy. Damn, at one point they were both laying on top of each other. Oh, I still see one. Oh, again, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. Cast kill. You got him. Nice. I think the SL might peak you. The so Russians in the here. south it's largely fun. haven't really maneuvered. They're just holding like hillsides and just minor defilades to their advantage, hoping that the Brits will just run into them. I might as well drop some ammo. Phoenix is still at the the farm here. He's got his forces spread out pretty wide. But they aren't moving anywhere. Um, but last I heard, you guys were pretty pinned down. Yo, we were pinned down on H1216, and north of that, there was the rocks. It's just the three of us left, and I'm linking up with two. Yep, yeah, link up with two, staff up those buildings. We'll be coming to you guys uh, when we have a chance. Cap Beware, I need you to leave one person basically right where you are, looking west and south, and then take yourself plus one and fill in the gap in Hotel 1239. They're looking to make this their last stand, I think. The farm. I knew that was the plan in the beginning. However, they uh, they had to rearrange themselves just a little bit to see if they can get all the objectives they wanted. Command, what are the next two locations? Have you uh, the next locations that I have in mind. All right, we're going to hit the one in Gulf 12A3 on that farm to the north and west of the bunker, and then we're either going to hit Copy. the bunker, or we're going to hit Absols. I really want to hit Absols because that's a much more defensible position, but uh, if we can't get to Absols, then we will hit that bunker. Or alternatively, if not, uh, we might... I can just well, trying to digest what the uh, UK uh, uh, commander is trying to figure out to do now. They're running all the way around some forces here. Copy. Speaking of on forces on that they're running around, Russia command. He's got uh, some friendly uh, riflemen close to him, but Russian command is just laying here in the ground. British soldiers are moving within uh, about 150 meters. They have defilade from these hill, from the hill, and they're going to have cover with their concealment with this uh, village here too. We came to some sporadic contact that tried to come over across the hilltop, but they got pushed back or killed by my AR. But they're looking out for a contact from their north. Because the Russians know that there are Brits moving in this direction based on the contact they had previously. The commander is running by himself. He's got a fired, he's got a buddy team with him, Searchest and Clay J. They're moving along with them. 
they're going to try to close the door on this British formation that has moved past them, being led by Dorf along with a uh, British command. And I wonder if they know that they've already passed. They may just be moving over here just to look north again. Meanwhile, oh, they're actually in the open. Uh, they were. I saw Koig. I imagine you could see, you could see, uh, Londarts could have, oh, might have right. seen Koig move up, but I don't think he was looking at the direction. <laughs> it's whatever. Just, and, uh,. The Brits have moved down past, so they're gonna take. They're gonna take a shot at the uh, was it Golf Twelve? There's a farm down here in Golf Twelve Eight that they're gonna take a shot at here, and I think the next follow up location for them is a bunker. And that bunker's location is probably uh, uh, Hotel Eleven. And this is the uh, Russia, this is part of the Russia uh, contingent in the He, Total is leading a squad of the, the furthest uh, south Russia patrol, their defenders rather. And he's moving around. He's got his, he's got his entire uh, fire team here. Just looking uh, north and looking east. The Brits are moving down into them from the north, and I don't think there's really a lot of people looking that direction. Oddball is here looking west for some reason. So they have, they still have a sizable force up there. So 360 security not, not in the cards. Let's check where Heroes look. Heroes looking east. The Brits are going to come straight down here. All right, two, if you can get to that, uh, two, you're clear to put the radio in. Nope. Clear to put the radio in I twelve four eight. So just across the road from your current position. Okay, maybe the uh, I think the Brits might have actually completed their objectives. Squad four, uh, go ahead and position yourselves um, south I thirteen. Yeah, you're flank flank around. We're gonna flank around south four and go wipe out those contacts uh, by the bunker. Okay, so I think I think the Brits have actually completed their objective, which is to patrol a certain set. They've uh, two, once you command contact still figured out the uh at least a fire team element. They have a bi up oh, right now. Copy that. Phoenix has eyes on Total Wars right, uh so north fire team here. Their way. Get their and here we go. The Brits are engaging at range. Yeah, go ahead. Total yeah, Wars down. Niner and I think uh, someone caught Skyline. Dracos hit Pony. And Draco 800 looks like he's down. Dwarf's falling back. Koig taking some shots at... Uh, Uh, Draco, Hero is still down here by himself. He's got himself behind a tree, and he's looking, he's looking due north. Pony, you want us to continue to slow down these guys on the east, or you want me cutting in a? But the Brits are all do. behind the hill. Three, see what you can do to wipe out um the guys that are two. You can't, you're sure you can't get across to the the road to the building I twelve four eight. It's just across the road from you. Meanwhile, looks like Russians are slowly moving. Uh, north, this, they might be taking some shots. The Brits are setting up the last point. And the last point for the Brits enables them to put down some defenses. They're going to get some uh, airdrop supplies from the... And, yep, the Brits have uh, set up the last uh, surveillance piece of surveillance equipment and now they're going to be able to reinforce that don't get yep shot. and there's the uh you're gonna fill the space in between nova and squad one 
Hotel 12 8 on the hill. Yep, you can see the uh, airdrop supplies have already made it from division. And, uh. You have the medic, you can, uh, LED fly, but. Be advised that the supplies have been airdropped on the last point. Roger that. All right, Phoenix, you can construct a mortar and commence shelling. Looks like Phoenix going to mortar town. And uh, you get 60, 60 salvos, so... Uh, <laughs> Population you know, 61. Stingy with them, just, uh, you can, you Him and 60, 60, uh, area, wherever you see contact. 60 uh, sets of mortar ammunition. Command, I kind of want to lay off point, and I want to lay off this bottom Oh, is he, is he going to be... Kinda is he just going to put the mortar right here in front of the door? Please. Good to be. Go Please. What direction? Uh-oh. I don't know where they went. Shot, go ahead. Oh, and the Brits have been attacked from right, the north. To not push north or south. They spotted us. We broke west into the town. The Brits are cut off. Right now. They can't go south. Yeah. They're going to run into a fire team. Negative. And looks like Clay J, an element with uh, Russia Command Londo. They've cut them off from the north. Imanaz. And let's see, does he have anyone else with him? Ooh. Three yeah, he's got a buddy. Box. He's got a buddy behind him who's not really catching up. This is not good. This would be a great time to have your whole buddy team here getting ready to push the Brits in the, from the side. The Brits are. Definitely did happen. It's true. I wonder what Pony's thinking right now. Oh man, I had this great. Oh, there, there we go. Yeah, that's the, uh, three, we're gonna push oh, three is up here in close quarters. Guido's still up. Lon's the uh, rush command goes down. Guido sneaks up on him. Guido gets another one. Seer chest is and. There's only one person left. Looks like Clay J is on the opposite side of the rock over here. He's uh, he's trying to get off the air. He's trying to get out of the area. Ooh, and he's gonna. He might have a chance to get dwarf on the side here. I think they saw him. Koi here. He's scanning down the hill. Oh, here we go. Here comes Nate's over the hill. Ooh, Clay J's reverse slope. They're throwing Nate's way past. Another Throwing multiple grenades. Clay J. Over the top. Oh, here comes Dorf. Dorf's gonna run straight up on Clay J. Oh, he's not looking. Dorf might be seeing him. Clay J drops K Log Dog. And there goes Clay J. Claw Dog's down. K Log Dog. Oh, wow. Nice. Good job. Well, fucking Nacho and Claw Dog are down. <laughs> oh my god. Couldn't see him because his head was gonna fucking. Rock. So Brits were able to pincer. Dorf, you're in command. Br Brits were able to pincer Russia command. Oh, Pony was in that as well. Okay. We have close for these at final point. How close? Within 200 meters. Okay, Bravo, scratch last. Reinforce, reinforce Charlie. Be advised, Revy, we take a look Blackbeard the pushing the. Uh... The farm area. Bravo, I need you providing covering fire where we're going to pull As Charlie you out. now hear, UK mortar. Oh! Phoenix down. Charlie Phoenix out. I think he just took our rocket. I think. I want to say he took a rocket. I heard an explosion when he. But either a rocket or a grenade. The Russians are within. No. Russians were. Within... Oh. Sherbert Creams. Wow, what a name. Jumps on the mortar. I think he's going to try to engage at uh, minimum distance here. Danger close. Wow, that ver the mortar tube is basically vertical. It's basically straight up. These are panic shots. Blackbeard squad in a textbook position. More mortars coming out here. Let's see if we can spot where those rounds are landing. Wow, they're actually really... Oh! Direct hit! 
Blackbeard took big medic, damage from the mortar there. He lost our rifleman to a direct mortar just to his left. Okay, guys, More I rounds. Mortars are just short of Blackbeard. Ooh. That was brutal. And Blackbeard's retreating. So he wants to he wants to get out of where the mortars are landing. Land, mortars are now mortars are now off target. Oh man! But it did what they wanted them to do. I, I imagine the Russians got to be happy that uh, another link at the ch uh, chain of command is now gone for British. Let's see if we get an overhead view of what's going on. Looks like about a squad full, about a squad strength at the farm where the uh, end point is for British. Georgia. There's a squad north for Russia trying to reorganize. A fire team to the west moving west to east. They're going to try uh, to get uh, under the radar here and try to get under. And there's still the Brits over here far west. They're pushing into town, and there's a squad there to deal with them. No, house is clear. That was from the south. Lima's just the running into the town here. He's got there's Alpha Guido right and Delta Dan. Or and Alpha Guido. Oh, he takes side. him out through the window. Nice for Lima. And another part of the chain of command is down. As I'm pretty sure Alpha was squad lead. Yeah, that just won't in the building. So now we're looking at, uh... I think it's just you and me. Lima's no, looking around. He's like, anyone else in this village? There is one in the house. And little as you know... Silent, there's one in the red There's, uh, two over here. There's two either direction he wants to go. J2 Guns actually gets shot at. Redibus, prone around a corner? Might be, uh, in a position to try to... Ooh, a grenade goes off close to him. And Appa runs up with Lima Bean. Whoa. Who is this? There's a Russian behind Dwarf and Koig. I think he may have been disconnected from uh, position here. And Silent is close. Ooh. Silent and Dwarf within 20 meters of each other. They don't know. Yeah, everyone down here is dead except me. My, my uh, buddy. Uh, dwarf, uh, the dwarf is looking in this direction. He's got his rifle out, I think. Oh, I bet you he sees. Yep, yep, yep. Goodbye, Silent. Drop the now, let's see. What will, uh, what will Bing do here? Bing Meister has a, a superior position. If Dwarf or Koi get up, you know, that's that. If he sees them. He, he must have heard the rifle shots, and he knows that Silent's dead because he's not responding anymore, right? Could be reading too much into that, though. What direction are you looking Meanwhile, still three squads surrounding the farm. Probably about uh, 15 people all told for Russia, trying to move into position to assault the uh, the reinforced position for British. Koig is now prone. He's moving up. Looks like maybe Appa's. Appa kills Koig. From the village. Just hold them. Fucking do whatever you can to hold them. I wonder if uh, British have any command. Com yeah, there are uh, two other people outside from uh, Dorf here that are up on... 
got Sherbert. Okay. Make sure you fucking stand the what shit. What's gonna be with squad four? Just coming. Just follow us. Leave. Here, just leave. Let's go. And uh, I think the Russians have figured out He's that gonna... our Russians Adam's believe that they cleared the area here because yeah. Dorf's not making any noise. And they're gonna collapse yeah. on the uh, collapse on the uh, that British are well, holding. I don't know what that would happen here. I'm on four kills for the session so far. Appa's got himself too. you a little bit here hand dog just because uh and here we go here comes the put blackbeard in the uh the basin i think they're i think he's trying to link up with some other troops or he's trying to push the wall of the the wall of the uh lot the field here if they're pushing you again you order those contacts i don't need them on the village anymore if they're on british mortar is still going out British mortars, I guess, are firing wet. Two, four, five, two, four, five in the tree line. So you'd head more south as a tree line than you want to split the cross. Lima's back on his old position on this uh, ridge line, right? And I think he's gonna. They're pretty far out off of he, he's got a nice position at range a little bit, but they're gonna have to make a move here soon because they're gonna gonna they're, the mortars have got to be hitting. Oh, hey, we got the uh, mortars are way off. Let's see if we can track where those rounds are landing, and those rounds are landing. Way off. At least two, uh, two men size element. Those rounds are landed at least 150 to 200 meters away from the Russian position. See contact maneuvering to my front. And Dorf's got eyes on. I'll give you guys good enough grids here in a second. Let's see if we can take a look and see what Dorf sees from here. Oh, you might have seen Head Busta, uh, who's skylining just on his side of the def just on his side of the hill. Dorf attempting to rejoin the defense. It's going to make himself as useful as possible to get some intel before that happens. Is contact to your north and south? A uh, large rush of push here on the yep. farm. Can I get detailed conditions? Oh, they're within right. 20 meters. There goes Zeke and in the south. The Russians are just pushing the British off the uh, the southwestern part of the farm building here. Blackbeard actually is starting to get within about 30 meters of the bing. Knights, knights. He's got eyes on what he knows is an AR position. Okay, copy that. Yeah, I see. All right. Here Fuck comes, he's order. getting elite Real. in the position here. Now giving cover. Oh, he takes out nuclear twister through the window. Black okay, falling displace, back displace. to cover. And right, Elite is uh make your way up behind one. Elite's pushing up here. Sherbert creams, knows he heard something, pings him in the leg. Not enough to finish the job though. I wonder if he's gonna just spam through the wall here. No, Elite's gonna Elite's gonna um Pretty sure that was Nova. 
That might have been, might have been Sherbert spamming. Charlie, put fire down. Start shooting through that wood. They're on the ground floor. Two guys. Be advised, they have heavy occupation of this. Uh... Everyone knows Revy. that these uh, walls the here are pretty Sorry. thin, so the bullets could just go straight. Close to us. Close Lots of spamming going on. Yeah. But that's uh, that's to be expected. Russians now making a very, very nice foothold from the south southwest. Brits are down to looks like four, plus Dorf. Unless Dorf's dead already. No. Lima Bean in the compound to the west. He's definitely one inside. Anybody got a need? He's got uh, he's Brilliant. got to clear the building with Beware and Dandy Man. Don't frag in here, Rebby. I'm in here. Don't frag in here, please. Do not frag in here. And here comes Lima. Going around the... Oh! It's a grenade. It's a bad frag. Oh, that's brutal. Meanwhile, Apa just goes in and destroys uh, Beware. And then a grenade. Because Dandy Man is still upstairs, he threw a grenade down there. Trades with James Simpson as he goes in. Hit Buster and Ipa clear the top. Contact north, contact Zaki. North. And now the Russian forces are moving in on the last building. Three UK. Oh, and Dorf is right here. Dude, look at this. Dorf is across the street. Once he gets clear of the field, he'll be able to start shooting. Lots of grenades. Quick scratch down to a grenade. More grenades. Sherbert, uh, down. And, uh, doing a little shake there. Now, two inside the building. Dorf is almost really able to... Another grenade. They're right around. Uh, and Dorf finally joins in the fun, drops dubs through the uh, through the uh, western entrance. But Apa or someone over there, ooh, a grenade! Hero gets Dorf. Hero gets Dorf through the slat, and Dorf's grenade hits no. One. So now it's just two Brits. B Dave just throwing bullets in and they're both watching the doorway here. And uh so now that the round's about to come to a close, I mean, yeah, let's talk nice. about it. I mean, as far as I, hear him right I mean, back. I really think Russia had a really smart, plan. but I mean, Russia's plan was lucky. Let's just say that the way they devoted two squads in the north, super lucky that they even thought British were the British were even going to attack that. And that made me think that may be part of the right. fact that I think. Uh, It might be considered that the one point up there was easy for Brits to take, and it was a wild card point, so that they could use it on either of their patrol. So, maybe the Russians threw extra resources at that to try to prevent that from happening. Figuring that the Brits might just throw their entire force and walk them. That said, though, Brits uh, had a nice plan. They tried to get the most simultaneous action, they and it worked out for them. But losing a squad on the Western approach, not helping. Hey, where's the entrance to that fucking house? I, I swear to God, I didn't see it. And now we have the Brits hold up the remaining British forces 
Nova and Spaceman. Hold up what's inside the building. And the Russians beginning to uh, make some pokes in here, I think. I hope. Most of the Russian forces are actually to the uh, west. Oh, wait, there's one more. Uh, there's one American. Or there's one British. No, that's a Russian. The colors are weird. So, oh, they, the Russians never cleared up. And now they're assuming that the point is, that the whole point is clear and that they're waiting for the British to come out. So a minor awkward stalemate. Uh, the Russians don't realize they never cleared this. And I wonder, I wonder whose uh, responsibility it is to clear at this. Point. Technically, the Russians have come into the British space, and, and t no. typical squad ups, where uh, we're seeing we're seeing British defend. We're seeing Russia having the responsibility to clear. Sounds good. All right, I just got orders from the command. We have to push out. It's been nice knowing. Oh, fuck. And. Division Dude, has told and I'm just gonna fucking Division has nice. communicated directly with Nova here and told him to escape and evade. Battle cry. Go for it. Go for it. And here we go. Spaceman dead. Oh, pistol whipped. No? Yes. Nova's dead. So that was a nightmare at the uh, your nightmare at the end. Wrapping up a uh, decisive Russian victory. So, oh. And here we go. Let's go let's Moving go, let's out. Go. My man leading, yes, or like not leading like anything. Space. He's in the rear of the fort. What? Who, I don't know what you're spacing with. Squad 2. Or squad 1, I mean. He's moving at his own pace. Move with everyone, everyone can move at their own pace. Move it's not a crime. Move with... Uh, Take a look at the Russians moving out. Uh, I'm. Uh, hold on one sec. So there's going to be a rather weird addition to Russians this time. I. Hmm. Fire teams, feel free to That's move odd. To fit. Just get eyes on wherever you can. Just make sure you're spread out. Alright, how about take this mountain with us? Hmm. Take the other with us. Take the other with Russians moving to the objectives. They're starting really close. Remember, they're starting west of the river, which basically means they're starting. You know, they're just able to hop, skip, a jump to where they're really going to look out for. All right, level move with uh, this rock face over here. We'll go ahead and get some eyes. Copy. This mount over here should be a good one to see everything from. Right I want to see if we can see the gas station. Or whatever that is. Russians, uh... All right, guys, I want a full Moving squad line. Out. We're going to spread it out now. Charlie, go ahead. I'm going to actually go over there and just see north, just a little bit. where we're at here. Everyone facing us. Looks like Russian forces. Yeah, it looks like Russian forces. Hotel 12. Here you can see a uh, squad of British riflemen in their natural running across hills. In the open. 
because that's how they train, right? Or I might go up at the hill right here. I'm just kidding. It's usually raining yeah, when they train. The hills. If there's more cover. If there's more cover on the rocks, we'll go on the rocks. Uh, recap of the mission so far. Um, <laughs> nothing's happened. They're, they're, they're running to they're running to get in position right now. Nothing's happening. Yep. Yeah. Can I crank my view distance to epic or will that fly be? Because I, I, I know, know it's high. I thought it was high or epic, but that's not what it is. Getting a little bit better idea of where Once the Russian point, position is. Now. Yourselves too much. You know, we all got binos, but let's have We can see on the years. map the uh, British position. They're watching, they're waiting for. The first possession to go down, and it looks like they have. Athol and uh, Revy have posted the first surveillance post in uh, Kilo 11. You can see the Russian position is basically a line north to south all the way from India 10 to India 13. So they're covering, what is that? They're covering about a click, 1,200 meters of terrain just from where they've got their position. British platoon, zero idea what's going on right now as far as the Russians. They're moving, they just, all they've done is moved about 900 meters away from their base, flanked with security on both sides. They're still going north. Charlie spread out more. Bravo and Charlie spread out north to south. Somewhere south to east. There's a lot of trees. Where, uh, where do you think? Do you think you could safely that take that hill and then look east from it? So I'll bring Horny with me. Phoenix in charge of the most southern flank, the most southern part. I shouldn't just say flank all the time. The most southern part of the Russian line. See Frederick, part of Squad One, in the most northern part of the Russian. His current position near one of the objectives. All right, Seer, so get your guys set up, and uh, let's push that buddy team. And out. we've got Lima here. All right, let's make sure that this uh, buddy team here. Lima, let's go direct away. All right, see ya. Fire team leaders. Oh, hey, Yeah, and then there's the allies to the southwest. Yeah, this is a good spot. South to the west. Uh, he doesn't want us to be seen from the west. Just a lot of running around right now. Northwest and north is fine. British are being super careful. Just the way that they're deploying themselves. Matter of fact, they're keeping, you know, squads are maneuvering, but they're sending out buddy pairs to scout ahead of a squad. Moving along the forest as much as possible. I think the Russians actually exist here, so. Getting a question in chat from uh, TLH Gamer. What's the objective? I mean, they're going to assume. Objective for British on this map. The British have this uh, global intelligence, artificial intelligence. I shouldn't say intelligence twice, but it did it anyway. Uh, it tells them. It sort of prioritizes places to patrol in this part of the world. And they're given a set of options. And the British choose an option. 
the in, the intent is uh, for British right now is British commander's intent is to clear red sites in this area of operations. They've also got some wild cards that they can check it counts towards it. And on the last patrol point, they're allowed to Oh. Roger, India 10 six, one. Uh, We've got a command report yeah, in here for British. They see a squad lead the, in um, India 10. Alright. Uh, I'll go in with the um, buddy P here to get this next radio down. If we get this down, we're going to have a India 10 6 1 is what they call. So I wonder if they saw a squad lead or I wonder if they saw a rifleman with binary because that's a thing. But to finish completing covering over the objective, once they get everything set up, they're allowed to sort of Alamo on the last point, and the Russians have to clear them off it. Division, the British division, uh, will authorize supplies. Platoon commander and all the squad leads under him are allowed to place whatever they like. Well, not whatever they like, but they get things like mortars and fortifications, so sandbags. So the last point that they get to choose is a lot more defendable of a location. Getting a large swing now. Russia forces have pushed up. They've pushed up as far as Juliet 13. Juliet 13, uh, um, no 4 here. Maybe a little bit further than that. And British forces have pushed all the way north to Kilo That is way out of the way. That is super far out of the way. They are really... They really just wanted to make this big run around to make sure they don't get spotted at all. And of course, the problem with that is, you know, all of the areas around where Russia really have their line set up are, you can even see it from the, uh, the map. There's a field and there's basically a field in front of every unit where Russia is staying, except for the south, where we can see Phoenix's squad is completely set up in the line covering about 200, 250 meters of space. And the British are moving into them very slowly, but they are. Revy's leading the squad. Looks like Peach is in this squad. Bing Meister leading the squad right in. And here we go. I don't get shot opens up on them. Nuclear twist. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Peach got hit. Peach able to bandage, but he's getting shot by Nuclear Twister. Peach throws a smoke. Throws another smoke. And is crawling backwards. No, oh, he gets pinged. I think I don't get shot, or, uh, I think I don't get shot in him. Take a look at the uh, machine gun fire here from uh, nuclear. Look at this position. Actually getting shot at now. He's opening fire on Revy. I think Revy's getting uh, drilled at from a couple of different directions. Revy squad definitely pulled back from initial con. But now they gotta be careful because how many how many binoculars are looking for their position? All of the binoculars are looking for their position. And I'm hearing contact way One when you cross that road, go ahead and get uh, set up on a nice broad secure perimeter. That might be some oh 
Look at squad British squad three is moving across the river. Charlie, you're going to push straight past us. Blackbeard's moved across the uh, river here, or it looks like he is. He's he's looking at the river. Charlie, pick your pick your. Scout. I wonder if he's waiting for more. Uh... I wonder if he's waiting for more forces to okay. move to him. Charlie, cross now, cross now, so that he can move across. This could be. This is a pretty bold move here. Yeah, British moving across. Meanwhile, Revy's surrounded. Nothing Revy can do about that aside from just try to get out of there. We're about to start smashing this one. Or, uh... Yeah, I need you to shoot. Russians looking north. They may have spotted this. Small respite. Russian Bravo, uh, Bravo fire team that's there, pull back. And, uh, Kuba Liberal and, uh, Russia squad one here. Kuba and Danny get ready to move forward. Holding around India 10, which is the objective area that yeah. the Brits are uh, intending to. Okay, can I get a spotter, please? Liberal. Uh, squad, we're Miyamoto down. and Biwa are actually engaging yeah. British forces yeah. on the hill to their, uh, to their north. Oh, they might be bugging out here. Your bullets uh, crashing all around. And the British forces are indeed shooting. Uh, nightmare, unnightmare, your nightmare looks like he's just shooting. And uh, Miyamoto and Beware are sort of stuck here. There's a smoke. Who threw this? Two smokes. I guess they want to run away. One, are you getting any here we go, Miyamoto. Around the corner. Beware. Right to high. No, no return fire. However, you're literally just called out. He sees two to three contacts. And uh, Liberal Pundit's position shooting over. Giving uh, giving me a moto and beware some cover fire. Just barely able to do it from his position. How are you doing, liberal? Did you get hit? No. Ooh, some of these rounds hitting okay, really close here. You see some of these. Oh, airborne. Almost getting tagged in the leg there. Wow, that rounds. Those are coming from forever. I'm gonna send you uh, two. Uh, you probably a good, uh, that is Clay J. That is Clay Gate. Clay, blah, 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 Clay J engaging from about 600 meters. We're good down here. This is tremendous. UK forces still maneuvering. On the uh, western side of the river. All right, Roger that four two cancel last order for that five team. Whoa, the suppression still coming in from Clay J at range. The um, radio that we just put down. Break, break. And, uh, the front of full score spotted in India ten five four. India ten five four full. And engine. Blackbeard calls out the entire enemy squad here. Roger, have they seen you? On top of this, uh, on top of this hill. To our north. Okay, our yeah, yeah. Now, I wonder North if the Brits are going to be able to suppress the entire position here to allow British forces uh, that are across the river to come back and hit this position from the west. Yeah. You'll have to get, uh, Flicker. Flicker's trying to put some shots on uh, 
the suppressor position. There's also a shot in the west. Also a shot in the right. I'm hearing some shots. Pony's shooting at something. Pony's shooting at Brits across the river. I think Pony's spot speed. Yeah. Pony spots B Dave cresting the hill. And he wants he's out for some blood here. Let's see what he does. Is he gonna come back at it again? And he gets his binox out just to check. Yeah, he's still there. You can see his leg. He's re-engaging. Wow. That is some, uh, that's some awareness, right? <laughs> this is, this is crazy. Pony's got B-Dave pinned at about, um, he's got B-Dave pinned at about, what is that? 600 meters, 500 meters. Matter of fact, Blackbeard's right there next to him. Blackbeard trying to... I imagine he's trying to talk B Dave off that ledge. Pony brings out his band up Binox. Still sees B Dave. Pulls his rifle back out. Continues to re-engage. Oh, he gets hit finally. But I don't think he's bleeding. At that range, I imagine bullet pen in squad the game won't uh won't cause bleeding, but you know, I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. Here, I'm gonna reach reload. line to my right, 040. Actually, hold on. It's a new, it's a new. Just get it, rocket. You got it? Alright, I'm good. Well. Reloading. British forces still. Suppressing this, uh. This hilltop position here on, uh, yeah, India. Like a lot more, actually. Yeah. 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 Individually. And the British forces on the west side of the river are now engaging them from multiple. I've seen bullets bounce from Frederick's northeast. Shots seem like they're coming in from the northwest. Flicker goes down to some really long range fire here. That's an AR down for Frederick. Liberal Pundit gets hit. British maneuvering closer now. Able to get a little bit more clarity on what they're shooting. Liberals hit pretty bad. Able to stop the bleeding, but it's still just hanging on top of this hill. I had the potential to get like four kills there, but I think I whiffed everything, so... Brit's re-engaging him. Now he's running away. Sounds like you successfully repelled an attack. Of okay. Maybe the, uh... I wonder what these guys are doing. They're moving back. Like they want to disengage. British forces have a north formation here. Oh, they're really close over here on the north side. They crossed the river. Hamdog and synchronized. British have taken some losses here. Hamdog and synchronized are moving up by themselves. Hamdog's bleeding. Uh, the Russians are actually falling back here. Brits are just. I, I'm, now I wonder why they're giving away the initiative. 
I don't think it doesn't appear that any British orcs are actually moving forward. Do we be able to hit that guy? Is he? Fuck, okay. Yeah. Friedrich's here right next to Airborne. Uh, they're holding the most northern part of the Russian defense here. And he's just trying to figure out why he keeps getting suppressed by this AR at range. He doesn't see anything else, I imagine. Don't, don't geek him. He's gonna pull us. Kate. Freddy, we're gonna pull back to Bravo. I think. Try to pull back straight south. And Frederick's running away now. So maybe Russians are starting to retask some uh, forces to some defense. Maybe they want. Maybe they're trying to let uh, British move in a little bit. Just to try to get some sort of action because the Russians don't have to move. The Russians aren't in the interest of assaulting positions right now. The Russians want British to come. Miyamoto. Just trying to put some rounds down range. Take a look at the map. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on here. Take a look at Cuba. He was putting some rounds out towards uh, Clay J. And I think Blackbeard just spotted. Uh, yeah, that's a confirmed sight. I think Blackburn. Blackburn spotted. Uh, Some fire on that. Uh, obviously, careful with the ammo. We still probably got a good uh, 20, 30 minutes of fire. Be wearing dandy, man. Oh, take a look at that scope on that seven. Oh boy. I think with a uh, with a ranging system like that, uh, if you miss with the RPG seven, it's your own. Beware, got Binox out. He's looking around. Not exactly inconspicuous on top of these rocks, but allows him to cover the. Oh, I think. They... Yeah, look at that rounds coming in. Send one three round burst and I'll tell you to do us. Yeah, that's coming in from Blackbeard's and position. Right. Ooh. And just slightly left. Someone got hit over here. I think Danny Man got snagged by one of those bullets. Not enough to bleed. It's forcing them off the rocks. Now they've got some foliage between them and Blackbeard's position. Uh, using your element that's uh, in India 9, uh, slowly advance yourself to the element you have to the west. Uh, expect contact on those rocks in India 10 and 4 6. British still suppressing the position. Uh, Wilco, what's the objective? Alright, we have one radio down. We have three choices. We have one in the uh, south that's way out to the west at 4, Hotel 1216, and two. Squad 3, Hotel 1049, and Hotel 1144. So the objective will be to get a squad leader onto one of those points, put down a radio, and fend off the Russians. Can't be wearing Danny Man running away. Currently doing it, just trying to stretch them. Once we get a feel, able we're to we're get over the hill. Where we've killed most of them, maybe we'll collapse and push on that. Uh, be wear hit there, there at the end. Wow. Or the south, yeah. Affirmative. Man. Command, how far do you want my guys? There is some. There is some uh, insane. Sorry. Marksmanship going on here. Now that uh, everyone has, that uh, friggin' everyone has Binox, right? To advise them to be mindful. God bless V13. Those are rocks out to their northwest, approximately five, six hundred meters. 
I wonder what Frederick's looking at here. He's got Binox looking like uh, he knows there are Brits in these hills. As of right now, uh, we haven't confirmed it, but I think we were taking the red route, so they would have taken K11. And he's looking K in the right direction, K9, actually. He just doesn't see them because they're behind we the hill. don't know but which uh, was put last. Little does he know, if he keeps looking in that direction, you'll see British men uh, roll right over. Rough grid on that is going to be India 12-5, maybe. Money man maneuvering. Uh, looks like... Uh, Storm... Looks like Storm opened up on them from their, from their uh, direction of advance. And Money Man, along with some British forces here, are just moving through the forest, trying to get a better position. You can see here the British position moving through these uh, northeasterly fort, moving through the northeasterly fort. Those were words. Command's a part of them. And you can see Storm right here, largely responsible for that uh, suppressive fire. Here he comes again. He's set. Oh, I wonder if he sees Silent all the way over there. Silent is prone, and he's actually firing on Storm. Or maybe to the left of Storm. Storm sets his bipod back up. Storm getting shot at there, able uh, forced to vacate the position. Rounds are bouncing really close here. Sherbert, I think, has gotten hit because he switched up and. Be advised, they're uh, they're maneuvering around us. They're at Golf Eleven Five Eight now. Significant, maybe five deep. Golf Eleven Five Eight. Still east of the river. Blackbeard's got eyes on Russian forces moving around to their south. It's going to give them a uh, multiple, multiple on a bridge on a on a water crossing here. Uh, got a question chat from Tactical Pickle. Any rolls with iron sights left? Sure, you can just pick up iron sights. Just not a lot of them. Blackbeard's moving off north. He saw a okay, bunch guys, of folks. Fall back onto me. Fall back onto me. We need to stay away from the coast now. And then there's trees to hold through stamina. Right. And then one more full sprint to get across the river. And Lima right, now moving you guys across across the river, southeast and try to secure the taking rocks. advantage of the 10, fact 5, that there's 4, really no one looking rush. north for the Russians I'm right now. The Russians have rocks. retreated from a lot of the, the forward rocks. positions that had it's eyes overlooking the river. Good to go. Right, so. Lima buddies Bravo, with uh, Epa no moving across, catching rest. up with the Imanaz. D League looking around. No Russian force is able, to, really, there to greet, but they could just pick a direction and just run into a squad. So. What's up? RPG. Is that RPG? Lima cresting the hill now, next to the uh, ro or the uh, railroad. According to us. I think we'll just push up on them, like whatever, man. Oh yeah, I, mean, I hear that. Right? You, you, you heard that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can push. We can push. That's special. Rock, move us. That's special. Okay, here we go. Lima's fire team. Lima, I'm, I'm gonna do buddy. Pushing across. Right, yeah, yeah. Peek over here. 
pretty sure he there on the next round. Yep. Lima's got eyes on. Or may not have eyes on, but he definitely heard that. Uh-oh. Yeah, it is. They're gonna know we're here real soon. Apa freaking cresting the hill gets yeah, spotted. Right. And Lima along with his uh, other buddy team here they've sort of pivoted around they're making a really dangerous push in here red is real close he's running away though no they're probably 75 meters yeah i see it 75 meters D League engaging directly. And British are now pushing on all fronts. The British have, uh, looks like the squad, Blackbeard squad, is repositioning a little bit further south. Getting word that uh, squad one and two for British are now pushing directly on the farm. So maybe. Uh, Two British squads collapsing on three with one to their south. That could open up on them too. And Lima is going to run straight on to a, a Russia stronghold. Oh, I just, hope, just hope that we don't get shot in the ass. Just fuck, fuck this hillside right here. Lima and company, Lima and friends right here were uh, chipping Close. away at them for a long time. D Link is going to crest the hill first. Beware, real close. Here we go. Some real close uh, quarters action here. D Leak knows he hears Beware. He's looking for him. Fuck are these guys? I don't see him. I see one. I see one. Right I see two. I, see I can take out two right now. I can take out two right now. Uh, yeah. I'm right. D Leak taking out two. Miyamoto goes down. Frederick says, goes down. Beware. Goes down. But Kuba takes out D Leak. And uh, someone else, I missed the name, not Appa. Yeah, you are too. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, Airborne looking around like, what is happening? You give me glamour. There's one guy in the field. Once Take him. He's looking the wrong way. Lima's actually got a really good chance to shoot Airborne in the back here, but I guarantee you, Koopa in the field might actually get back at him. Just hold that. Right. Have uh, just hold plus two others inside that I'm compound. I'm gonna try to watch more of There's another. Yeah, definitely. Element there, yeah, okay, yeah. I got them moving south from wait, two six seven. Put the radio down. One, I need you pushing. No, they're coming. Two six seven. Hotel. Russians pushing uh, Lima's position. More British moving in. Two eight seven one. Wait, two seven. Lima spots real prowl. Okay, okay. Kills him. Okay. One of them are dead. Where? We're gonna be in the name. Alpha Guido. Alright, guys, the check this hotel 1044. Just, uh. Hotel 1049. Ronan, don't. This is straight oh. west. They're coming very close. Ooh, look at this. Clay J. Seared chest. Able to give yeah, Appa and Lima Bean some cover. Ronan over here. Trying to get eyes on where Alpha was. And Alpha returning fire almost drops Ronan. Second, Ronan. Go ahead. You, you said something before. Cut off. I was talking to Admin. Head Buster suppressing Alpha Guido here. And now more fire. Oh, what is this? Bartok Warrior. Bartok Warrior ends up downing the AR that was engaging. Or the... Yeah, AR is down.
And uh, you can see here, British Squad 2 falling in, trying to push through. They're engaging at long range. Now that they've dropped down to this sort of plane, they're able to maneuver a little bit more now without being uh Charlie get over here. There's like little tree line here. Phoenix has pushed up his element past the farm in uh, India 12 3. Yeah, and uh, they're putting in a lot of pressure on this. Uh, can we uh, you know, all, you, all I can really describe it as is the lagging behind British, British advance. The British need to up their pace significantly here. Money man, part of the uh, element here is now pulling, now bugging out. Bravo, how does the direct west look? Uh, is, that, is that a viable position to push to? Uh, British yeah, commander now. Open, I'd say. Okay, so yes, yeah, so head, head north of us then. Now trying to reevaluate their options. They got multiple options on where to finish their patrol at now. Ooh. Silent. Or was that silent? Or no, that wasn't silent. From the east, uh, rough grid, H1059, and also from the south, uh, H1194. That was Aethel. Right, with, uh, with a friendly AR. Taking some pot shots there at Storm. Uh, we are ready to push across, uh, the river. Just a reminder that they're still there. Aethel's getting shot at here. Aethel's returning fire. Some direction. One and two. Start getting aggressive with I think guys. Phoenix sees him now. I think Phoenix has got eyes directly on him. Just talking storm on there. Top of the hill, James sure. Simpson down. Okay. Aethel able to displace. Phoenix sees him though. Phoenix sees him going to his left. Shift fire left. Just trying to pump some more ammo there. Still not, uh, hasn't talked Storm onto the correction, now maybe. Storm still spraying. I think Phoenix is looking through him, looking for him through the, oh, he might have seen him just then, but I don't think he was looking at. A nice pickoff though, I think that was the AR of that formation. That's one less AR able to uh, limit the Russian uh, reaction here. British forces have now moved to the low ground up north. Three, you're looking to reinforce four and they're pushing, they want to push Hotel 10 4. So that's going to push directly into uh, Alpha Guido in his position. If that's what they are intending to do. Just want to point out, we've walked three edges of the map, or nearly. And we're looking at Blackbeard's together. position here. Hope you guys have uh, across the river, but way, way far to the southwest. With, uh, Blackbeard and here's the mortars. And uh, we so using this, British uh, were actually uh, able to uh, set up position uh, here, and it's at the fort. It's at the uh, abandoned fort here in uh, what is this Hotel Twelve. That mortar being fired is bad news, which means all the Russians will be shooting. Oh, we got some casualties from the mortar? 
either that or Aethel got lucky at range and maybe Silence shooting at him too. So that's Phoenix's squad, I think, that the Mortar is engaging. Can you look up here? Look, one here. Three at this Phoenix seems like he's able to uh, bug out, but... So now the British are going to have to defend this position. Oh man. Hamdog goes to Blackbeard calls in contact on their immediate west uh, west side here. And that was Nacho and Hijack along with Dwarf. Maybe be saucy too. Synchronize is sort of stuck here now against the uh, rock base. I think he has to assume that uh, Dwarf and Hijack are just going to cut him down as soon as he tries to get away from this. More mortars, though. Russian forces are trying to get eyes on this position. Man, we are taking accurate fire from the southwest. We're going to try and... Let's cross the road here. Lima guys. actually Lima. moving in towards one of the old objective areas. Roger. Ooh, Dorf got hit by one of those mortars as he was running it through. Going over to Blackbeard here. He's putting some uh he's putting some fire out trying to get uh synchronized back. He's trying to cover against Nacho and Hijack here. Also, he doesn't know it yet, but Alpha Guido, the remainder of Alpha Guido's squad is now coming south along the riverbank, trying to get a little action on. Synchronize catches back up with his squad. Oh, looks like they have eyes on. Nacho comes off the hill. So synchronize was the AR. That's why they say. That's why they saved him. Russians now within 50 meters. Koig, Storm. No, Koig and Hawk. Throwing grenades. Revy gets hit by a grenade. Koig pushing in. Of course, he's got a bandage first. But Russians are now well, way too close. Revy calls out a bandage. And Co Revy wants to Revy wants to get act one in the war. Here, trades. Revy's dead. Silent and Aethel getting engaged in the back there. Oh, here comes Hawk. He throws in a grenade. Zaki gets away from it. Nice use of the underhand throw there. Red two story from last round. Oh, look at Patrick Star. Hey, hey, three. Hey, tell your guys to throw your grenades. Oh, whoever's that other one running the same. Two. Blackbeard comes in, running up, saved the contact. Oh, Hawk gets hit by grenade. He's dead. Oh, he's almost. No, he bleeds out. 
Groot gets one, gets two, leaves airborne alive. Groot kills Dwarf there. Airborne comes around. Groot knows. Groot kills. British with a awesome defense. Alpha Guido takes out Synchronize. And the immediate call out. Guys are being assaulted from the west. Get nades over to the west. If you have a chance to get mortars on it, do so. Guido maneuvering around to the southwest of the objective area. Rockets. One overshot. Oh, the mortar got hit. So the mortar took some damage from a grenade there, and I guess it got undug. So they're going to dig it back up. Uh oh, someone went down. Uh, Guido comes up real close. I think that was. Uh... No, Blackbear's not down. Oh, a grenade lands on Alpha Guido. He may have actually been shot too. Zaki coming around the corner. Zaki's going to push up here on random person. Oh, he might have. I don't know what he heard. He falls back. Londarts, the master, gets walked straight past by, gets passed by uh, Russian forces here. Ooh, and Aethel. Oh, Phoenix is looking south. He's looking for Aethel. I wonder if he sees him. No. I think he's trying to find. Phoenix must know someone's up there south. Phoenix running away. I think he's getting shot at by Aethel. Blackbeard calling Alamo. Calling the calling the Broken Arrow. And. Contact Southwest. And there's only one person near him. Viz Copy. Vizsla must have been able to get a shot out on him. Groot, hold here. I'm on my, I'm on my, I'm on my yeah, me too. Roger. I'm down You're to six, man. Get you guys online, one. I have one Russian man. forces really trying. That's the guy that I saw. Start being more careful now. Start being more careful now. Blackbeard getting some medical attention here. Russians running low on men. Did Squad 3 mention if they were... How are we doing on health, guys? Zaki, you're going to go... From me, you're going to go and help out Groot, okay? Uh, looks like Brits tried to uh, use some mortars as close as they could. Okay, come and go through. British think the mortars are good, but no. Reloading. Meanwhile, Phoenix... Is pursuing Aethel, but we watch, we have he really should be pursuing the objective, or at least trying to stop people from crossing. Brits are continuously oh, collapsing you. on the objective yep. here. Keep watching that direction. Oh, and it looks like Vizsla's dead. No more, uh, no more contacts to the. And now I think we're down to uh, Phoenix with his team surrounding the fall. And Londarts is calling them out. They're in the building. Londarts is actually going to move in. Ooh, Phoenix coming right up on this. Phoenix coming right up on this. Look at this! Lonarch doesn't see it yet. No, now he sees it. He pops Sherbert. Sherbert's hit. Phoenix fires back. Lonarch cuts the angle. Kills Phoenix. Oh my god! Lonarch's the master. Destroying nuclear twister through the wall. Wow.
and Zeke down for good measure. Uh, that was that was incredible. Lawn darts. Basically single hand. <laughs> there goes Shrivert. Just picks him out of the window. Copy that, I know. Lawn darts throwing a grenade. Uh nope, it's bounced in front of him. It bounced off. Oh. oh, it bounced on that side of the fence. That's a wrong fortune. Wow. Lawn darts on uh let's see how many kills. Four kills in 60 seconds. Pretty good. Uh, looks like we're down to two Russians now. I don't get shot in Nova holding the uh, western side of the southwestern side of the farm village. I don't see anything else. Oh, and of course, now the Brits are trying to reposition here. They're sending out some teams to cover this compound. Blackbeard's got eyes on this. Yeah, I definitely hear him. Oh, you Nova comes running right out. Blackbeard sees him. Blackbeard hit, but Blackbeard... Like we hear Nova, but he gets taken down. Nova gets shot again. The Russians, I guess they tried, I guess they decided they had to go. I guess the Russians got orders. Nova crawling along the ground. This is, uh, this I wonder if Lomba. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Uh. So that was, I don't get shots grenade, killing Nova. Maybe that was a panic frag crew? I don't get shot, get spotted. Lima Bean has eyes on, maybe Apa does too. Oh, the grenade gets, I don't get shot. I think that's the last Russian, there's Gigi. British. British able to masterfully